yeah, she often does. So, <laughs> so she's. Yeah, no problem. I always, be, I always try to be fully. No, stop it, Luke. I try to be prepared um, before I turn Zoom on. <laughs> Here as I goes. <laughs> and that's okay. Do, are you talking? Me? No. Well, I, I, okay, I, was, I, I thought to you were. Nope. I had to get my uh, my Bluetooth on. All ah, right. All right. Very cool. Very right, cool. So, uh, Lisa's keen to do wave impeccability, but she says uh, she she wants to do it in a group. So if you know anybody who's perhaps potentially interested, let me know. You say, yeah, I saw that. I, I know I'd like to see Jessica get back into it. Um, I mean, and if push comes to shove, I can always, I guess, it, depending on the time anyways, jump in and you know be one of the group members. And then if somebody else wants to come along, um, I can gradually kind of give up my space or something. I don't know. That's just a thought, just to get her started. So, say that again. Sorry. Um, I said that as far as a group, um, you know, I will keep that in mind for others that would be interested. Yeah. And then I said, for now, if if nothing else, just to get her started, I would. You know, come in and join just so that she feels like exactly, not so alone. exactly. But but yeah, I'm I'm keen to get uh to get uh you know others in and so yes. yeah, I, Albina said the same thing. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so, and that's yeah, just, I love that. I love that. That would be just wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. just to, to get her started, and then I um, I mean, you know, there's there's Jessica that I don't know what her her story or schedule is. Yeah, um, yeah. She's she's scheduled to continue, so you know. Okay. Yeah, maybe she'll um, restart. That would be good, actually. Kind of goose her know, motivate. But yeah, I I I would like to get a lease in it, but she won't. She won't commit to anything. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And, that would be ideal. Yeah, yeah. Um, trying to think of others. I um. You know, two of my clients could actually really, you know, benefit a lot from the program. Yeah. However, I, I have problems getting them to commit to the changes that I'm trying to present yeah. to them. Yeah. So, yeah. It's like yeah. if you're not going to do simple coaching, a, a chances of you doing wave and or something. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 You've got to have that desire yeah. to do, you know. And, and 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 Lisa does, and she will. She will do the exercises and all the you know, the all the things that are needed doing. So this right. will be very cool. And um, you Did know, you pin that, that post by the way. Which one? The one that you made about you know I have somebody who wants to do group. Um, you know, if you're interested, let me know. Here's oh no, I, I just made it now. I haven't shared it to group okay. yet. I just uh, I, I'm I'm about to. Okay. I'm about to. I was just answering. Yeah. Um, my one sister commented so um okay. yeah i would i would definitely um pin it when you do share yeah. it to groups yeah. so then that way oh absolutely oh absolutely people yeah. Can see yeah. It. yeah yeah um you know i you I've know been, what even yeah. even put up where it says you know now forming um a new a new uh new group new session for new class or whatever for wave impeccability you know new group something oh, like that. Oh, 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 interesting. Yeah. interesting. Now yeah, accepting new group it. members. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, if interested. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because um, yeah. in yeah. that way, it really grabs somebody's attention. It's like, oh, wait, yeah. you know, this is you. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I, I pin, like I have pinned to the top. I've got the live from yesterday. Yes. Yeah, that was really a good one. Even oh, though I kept dropping wonderful. off, it was really a good one. Yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it was really wonderful. 
it's um I'm hoping today that you know nothing is going to interfere and free Zoom, but yeah, I've been tolerating yeah. it. And when I talked to my phone company about it, um, you know, about the them sending me a refurbished phone, even though I'm supposed to be paying for a new one, um, they gave me the worst news ever. They, they just said, "Well, you know, that's that's how we do it. We we don't send out." A second new phone it's like well if it's under warranty you need to <laughs> yeah yeah i said yeah. that would be just like me <laughs> going to a car lot and buying a brand new car brand new yeah. and it yeah. doesn't work and then they give me a used one they said so really there's no difference here I said you need to honor the warranty well anyways they they won't instead they tried telling me well if you pay just 75 dollars more your phone will be half paid off and you're eligible for upgrade. And I went, yeah. eh, wrong answer. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you know, maybe oh. Google, um, people who've, who've dealt with this company and who've dealt with this problem, and uh, sometimes there may be solutions there, you know, contact Better Business Bureau or whoever, you know, and then mm -hmm. you get results, you know, so they may have yeah. solutions. Yeah. yeah, well, oh no, I haven't, I'm, I'm not giving up on it because phones are expensive this one was almost five hundred dollars just yeah it's phone. crazy it's crazy and i'm still making payments on it which tells me i you know even though i've had it for several months it doesn't mean replace it with a phone that's been used you know and it's got the same problems so i think what i'm going to do um, is write the manufacturer oh, look them up and write them and just say look you know, this company who's selling me this phone will not honor the warranty. Yeah. This is the yeah. problems with the phone. Please either, you know, tell me where I can go and have it fixed at no cost or replace yeah. the phone. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, since they I don't think, want to honor it, then it's up to you, obviously. Yeah. 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 Somebody yeah. needs to. Right. I mean, if, if we get them to squeeze the company. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know, and here's the thing. It's a, my phone is is a Google Pixel. Um, so it's a phone that's made by Google, and I looked up and I do. Yeah, it's a decent a phone. Company. Yeah, it is. It really is. Um, however, this particular model was not. This one had some uh, bugs, in it, uh, and I happened to get the one that was getting the bugs. Um, oh, where the screen freezes and then crashes yeah. and apps yeah. freeze and close and um, it, you uh, know, and then if I walk away from the house, I don't get any internet, none. Yeah. So then it's not a smartphone at that point. It's just a telephone. Right. Um, right. Right. So it's like, yeah, don't be, don't tell me that this thing is working. So long story yeah. short. Um, yeah. Yeah. I want to try and, and keep at this because, you know, Bean is like, try your laptop. It's like, oh, dear, Bean, I can't. You know, my laptop is pretty much shot now anyways. Yeah. Um, it's functional yeah. at best for document writing. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's challenges. I'm just Interesting. Trying to meet them and do what I can. Yeah. Yeah. We can we can go on, do screen share, and I can look at your laptop again. Um there, there were some things that that I never got to do still, so we can check okay. that again. Well, maybe we can do that this week because yeah, you know it, it's going to be. Um, I mean, if you're not using it that, much, I, I would just recommend you go into your control panel and you go to I think it's a restore, and you can uh, you basically do a, a it's reset the whole thing. You just have to look through that; will give you the options, right? Yeah. And yeah. the restore I in from control is. panel, and then it says uh, do a clean uh, a clean install, a reinstall, and then gives you the option yeah. to keep your files. You say yeah, keep my files, and it just puts in a fresh new, just reinstalls the operating system, and that usually fixes all the problems. So yeah. I, I would recommend do that. It, you know, it's like a five minute thing uh, for you to do, uh, less, and but it it might take a couple hours for. You know the because it reboots and it redoes it and so you know I don't have a couple of hours but you know it, it takes a little longer yeah. for 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 the machine to do it but still you know get it started and see what happens usually that really solves everything you know um sure so 
And yeah, that's why yeah. I was looking to to see if we can do it without that in case you had things. But then you said, well, you don't really have anything to save. So, okay, well, uh -uh. life is easy then. Yeah. No, anything that I saved is on my D drive and I, I can't even, that was the other thing. I can't access what's on the D drive for some reason. Something, you have uh, to see it. Maybe you could tell me yeah. what the problem is. But yeah. there's stuff well, do, on the D do, drive. Do that, like, do, that, do that reset first and then see if you can access it because likely you've got, you know, the operating system has gotten all messed up and, you know, virus in there or whatever, but this will just take it all out no, and too fix many it files. All. Too many files. Oh, That's, remember, oh, right, right, remember right. Remember how Windows kept populating it yeah, with all of its Yeah, updates. but it's, it, it, that's probably also from something that's not working the way it's supposed to be working. So, yeah. you know, when you, when you just get it all taken care of, with a reset, then likely all these problems. If if there's still a problem, then 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 I'll have a look, uh, pleasure, and help you clean up your drives. But yeah. I suspect that that will just take care of it all. So yeah. Okay, let's hope. Yeah. Let's hope. Is is this D right. drive the internal drive or an external drive? No, no, external. It's my external ah. hard drive. Something happened. Ah, there. right. So then that's that won't be affected by this. You see, so. Um, yeah, so we can look at clearing that out and, and getting that sorted. That's easy enough. That's simple enough. Yeah. 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 Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, we got to get yeah. it working because you know if it's if it's booting up, uh, then it's salvageable. Let's put it that way. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I mean, that it does. It, it, yeah. It well, works, there you go. Then the it just yeah. fills up so fast, and it's it's got hardly any memory yeah. left because it's all full of yeah. of the um, the Windows folders. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, and that that, that it, sounds it. like an error. I mean, those those shouldn't be. Uh, um, they they're not they're not that data intensive. They don't don't take that much space, so they shouldn't be. So something is causing a problem where it's just looping. So yeah, just reset it and it'll be fine. Okay, yeah. well, I can well, should be. I know I've tried reset a couple times before. Um, yeah, but, but this is like a, a a fresh. You know, they'll tell you they yeah. where. Yeah, and then it'll say you I know, know there's you three want different to... options. Right, right. So, so try the one, um, and you can you can yeah. just unplug just unplug the D drive. If all your data's on the D drive, then just 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 unplug it. Just you know, pull out the USB, right? And, see, right? and then yeah. it won't it won't affect this. And then you can just say, okay, you know, do you want to save your data? No, and it'll just you do a completely clean one because there's no data right. on the on the internal hard drive, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Definitely yeah. good good way to go. Yeah. It typically right. solves well, it. No, I'll just keep playing with it. Yeah. Yeah. Try that. Uh, I mean, do it and then let me know when you've done it, what happens. Right. And then we'll just do it like each mm -hmm. successive step. You know what I mean? After each yeah. step. So I'm keen. I'm keen to see what happens from that. Yeah. Okay. Well, sometimes, you know, these things, they, they, you, you sort of give up because they've been giving you so much trouble, but then it's one. Just one more thing you need to do, or a few more things, and then it's solved. So I'll, I'll put some fresh energy into it for you. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I understand it's why it gets a bit dispirited. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's like it's just been sitting in the drawer, and it's like, I really don't want it. it it's like, no, you know, you just, yeah. I, I have a feeling that when I bought it, I didn't buy one with big enough memory on it. You know, um, I was yeah. at the time I was thinking cheap and needed a replacement laptop. Well, yeah. when you buy cheap, yeah. you get cheap. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, so, well, uh, when you say memory, though, you know, there's two different memories, right? Uh, so you know, there's the the RAM, hard drive random, space. and well, uh, right, okay. So, it, but the hard drive space that's very easy to solve because you've already got the external hard drive. And um, I, I'd be surprised if that's not enough because the data files that you have, uh, typically, you know, if you're writing uh, Word stuff, that, that, that takes hardly any memory. I mean, most pictures well, are, are going to take see, more than take your file. Any because it shouldn't exactly. take any because I store everything in the cloud. I do everything in my Google Drive. Um, ah, right. Well, even all, even more so why everything. this is... So the so this the the laptop should 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 serve you no problem. Yeah, yeah. it's supposed to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, that's what I'm saying. So you know, if you do that reset, and like I said, plug unplug the the um, uh, the the external oh, yeah, drive. Yeah, first. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. No. Um, yeah. In case I, in case there's a virus or something on there, then also we'll know. If you reset it, right. then it works. And then you plug in your, your external drive and now suddenly it goes full bar again. Well, all right, we know where the problem is, right? Yeah. And, and also when you... Uh, when you do plug that back in again after the reset, um, Windows will usually ask you, um, uh, you know, or, or your Avast will ask you, do you want to scan this drive? And then say yes, and, and you can scan that drive just specifically on its own. Um, so that would be a good yeah. thing to do also. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. like I said, yeah. I'll... I'll... I'll try all this stuff and we'll see what happens yeah, again. Yeah, there you go. Well, just do the reset first, you know, and, and that's one thing yeah. to do and then then go from there. Let's do one, one at a time. Otherwise, if you do too many, then you don't know wh which one solved the problem or, you know, yeah. important to just. Yeah, no, I understand. I understand what you're saying. I get it. Um, The questions from yesterday. Yeah. Oh, you know, listening. Yeah. Well, what you what you went through and stuff, I mm. I did not have a lot to um, I didn't have a lot of time yesterday to go back and yeah. listen to a lot of the sessions and answer the questions. <laughs> no. but there were a few that caught my attention. Um, one of them was that first one. Let me go back and what was this? What did I write? Oh, uh, the um, yeah, you have the link for it, yeah. Aspirations. No, oh, I don't right. see, and I don't have the unless I do. I don't. Mm. Um, is that the one where you keep like the wave impeccability programs too? Is it all um, on the new site? Uh, I, I I don't know. Well, I'll put the link on the, in in the in the um at the top. I added it in. So. Okay. Mm. Oh, is it in my Facebook? Yeah, actually, I haven't. I haven't added it. I I need to. I'll do it in okay. a moment. Okay. What is that? Mm. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, if you wanted to, I wanted to go over some of those questions. Yes. Um, I like actually the, was uh, thinking about that, really, that. Well, the one that really caught my attention was what are the implications of, you know, chaos in my life? Now, that's not exactly how you worded that question, but. Yeah, but it's a good, it's a good question that about, flows from it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's why I wrote it that way, because it's like the other one didn't fully make sense to me, but to ask myself, what are the implications of chaos in my life? That wow. made sense, you know, um, because it's like this stuff, this stuff with TJ has got to be, part of me says it's cued, but I don't know by what. You know, because he had another incident last night. Interesting. No police Interesting. or anything like that. But I got to thinking about it. And it's like, what the heck is my role in this? Some yeah. of it is my language. Some of it's what yeah. I say. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. he also doesn't have to be that darn sensitive to language. <laughs> yeah. He should be. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean Stop splitting hairs and you know growing rages because you don't like I, a word that I use. Get over yeah. that part. And yeah, maybe that's me yeah. being insensitive, but it's like, come on. No, no. Yeah. I mean, there, there, there is a limit to how, uh, um, how precise we can be. I cannot speak exactly to your precise mind because it's not available to me. So I can guess. And that's it, right there. But I can't. I can't. Right. So, so get him to but listen not to it. the words, but to listen to intent. Say, so did I mean in to my... be negative? Did I mean to be troublesome? No. So why are you getting upset? I don't know what words yeah, you need in... to hear exactly. Right. And in some ways, that's what I told him. It's like, why are you getting this upset over? Well, I'll tell you why he's getting upset. Something. Well, he told me, he's like, because you're telling me what to do and I don't like being told what to do. And it's like, well, then you're going to have to get over that mystery because that's the fact of life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, it's like in this house. Exactly. There and, is and, no equal and, in and, this and, house. And, right. And you want to go to juvie or end up in jail. What do you think happens in jail or in juvie? Yeah. <laughs> it's nonstop being yeah. told what to do. I mean, seriously, dude, you know, I mean, 
What the fuck? So the, the reason yeah. he's not listening, it's totally and utterly um, because of uh, him wanting to. It's an opportunity to to give you a hard time, but because it's a simple power play. Yes. It's as that absolutely it's, simple it's as that. So you know that's why when I when I went back to that question about you know the implications of chaos in my house, it's because the way I'm seeing it is because he wants that constant chaos. He doesn't like it when it's calm. Yeah. He doesn't. Yeah. 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 Well, because when it's calm, he has to be sensible and he has to take responsibility and blah blah. But when there's chaos, the he gets he to be in to charge. Do. So he's still he's still subscribing to to JD logic. Yeah. 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 But wait, but wait, okay. That yeah. did change something last night. Because I thought of that. And remember we talked about this because yeah. I used this yeah. before. Yeah. And we yeah. said, you know, use this, you know, with a modic with minimum. Oh, very sparingly. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Don't he waste it. Was yeah, yeah. Really getting ugly and snipey with the with the yeah. insults. Really, yeah. really hurtful ones. And I just said, you know what? I said, right now, all I'm hearing is JD. Yeah. yeah. He stopped dead in his tracks. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. came right yeah. off. And then he yeah. started to think, and then he came into the living room and he sat down and he goes, okay, I'm listening. There you go. There you go. So then and did you come- share about JD being an asshole, but because of his beliefs? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I what he it. thinks is important. Like, yeah. Everything shifted. And he's like, I don't want to be that way. And there like, you well, go. There you go. There you go. I'm talking there to. You go. There you go. I would so, rather talk to CJ. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, 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 so I would now recommend to say, you know what? Let's make a list of our beliefs. What's important to us? Oh, that's a good right. exercise. Right. right. And, and then also to say what matters to us and what's important to us. And we're going to make two lists. We're going to make a, 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 a positive one and we're going to make a, a sort of a reverse one, right? So that, in, in other words, we're going to say uh, like like you put the crap importance, like a JD importance list, but, but don't say JD. Just say we're going to make a negative. Uh, you'll see what I mean. And then you put on there, okay, superiority, dominance. Yeah. See, no, no, no. And being right. No, this is on the no list. You see what I mean? And what do we oh, replace okay. it with? Yeah, uh, this is. We, let's make it now. Then you can. Then you can. You know, uh, don't don't say I've already done it. But then you've got it in in your mind as a preparation, and you redo it with him. You know, you sit down and you do it right there. But but let's make it now to start. Right then, you you've got the preparation. Okay. Yeah. So we have our no beliefs, and then we have what do we want? Yeah, right? yeah. Or, or, or let's just say. Um, um, what we really want, yes, or, or, okay, or really. yeah, and, and out our, our our deeper, yeah, or what we really, and and you can put in bracket maybe replacements, yes, and then the yeah, other yeah. list I mean, can be, like yeah, yeah, and the other list can be old convention, you know, um, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, and, and so where do we want to believe what everybody believes? Uh, do we want to be, you know, uh, and you can, uh, I don't know, I don't want to put on the top JD beliefs, but uh, you can maybe put BMN, he heard this term BMN, right? Mm. Okay, I like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, you know, in brackets yeah. behind, it's like, okay, BMN beliefs, yeah? Yep, I got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I just, what I do with one of my clients is I'm, I'm having her right now you know, write down uh, all of her beliefs and write down to her core ones. And she's coming yes. up with some really good ones. Yeah, uh, And then you're going to work on reframing them. Um, yeah, brilliant. Just brilliant. because she's like, brilliant. of course, you know, I'm not going to find anybody with the, the way I am. It's like, oh, uh, well, uh, keep, keep, keep believing that and you won't. So, you know, yep. this is self-fulfilling yep. prophecy there. Um, yeah, uh, exactly. Well, you know, if, if, if you remember uh, um, um, Sex in the City? I'm sure you remember the show, yeah? I remember the show. I just never watched it, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you, you at least know the basic premise, you know, the, uh-huh. the four women, and they're always on the hunt for, for Mr. Right, as they called it. Yeah. And, um, you know, uh, this is the, the continual thing and dating and what happens and how it doesn't uh-huh. work and, you know, all this, right? 
And, and of course, yeah. one of them eventually does find Mr. Mr. Right and messes it up completely. Yeah, the 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 main character, Carrie. Uh, but here's the yeah. thing that that used to just fascinate me: season after season of these women, essentially, you know, complaining about men. Yes, and yeah. uh, and having all these disastrous dates. Not okay. once in any of those seasons ever. Ever did any one of them say, but what can I do to to warrant to be worthy of Mr. Wright? Not once. Yeah. No, the, the, they just had to, the guy just had to be, you know, fit their logic of and their ideal and conform to them and be willing to tolerate all their bullshit, but they don't want to tolerate the guy's bullshit. What the hell do you expect you're going to get? If you full of crap, you're going to get full of crap. It's like duh, right? Yep. And, and this this just intrigued me. This complete, absolute hole in their uh, logic and understanding, right? Right. The the, the un just uh, just just this this arrogance. It was just beyond yeah. beyond belief, beyond wow. belief. Really astonishing, right? And and then wow. didn't realize it. They just never, never, ever clicked and realized it. Right? There's no yeah. bloody clue whatsoever. Huh. Yeah, isn't that something? But, well, and that's just so, because they were writing what the audience wanted. But it makes me wonder: Did the writers? Oh, oh, oh! Absolutely. I mean, you know, you, you're gonna lose your entire audience if you say, "Hey, listen, you guys are all full of shit here." You know, you you complaining and moaning and whining. But you're the ones that yeah. need to change and do something, you know. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. The whole thing will collapse. But but this is this is I I mention it because uh, when we start to understand this as a sort of a paradigm, um, that this is what advertising does too. It it just keeps telling you you're okay. Uh, that being full of shit is okay when it's not, right? So yes. this is yeah. this is a very big deal. This is a very, yeah. very big deal to be aware of that you're getting reinforced. You you getting uh, giving uh, you know kudos and all this for for being full of crap, and no, not cool, not cool at all, right? So yeah. this is a big, 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 massive, massive, great big deal that I don't think many are aware of and realize just just how much they are affected buy stuff like this so uh, i'm mentioning this for your client to to say well you know what um if you want to get who you are and want in your life you better pull up your uh -huh. socks yeah uh, if you're uh -huh. not going to make any effort to be worthy well then what the hell do you expect the simple as that right wow yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Well, and that's pretty much what, not in those words, but that's what I've been you know, yeah, leading yeah, them to yeah. try and, right. in multiple different ways. Right. There's only so many ways that you right. can reframe the statement. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I used to um, think there was endless ways, but it's like, ah, after a while, you run out of, you know, options. Yes, yes, things. yes. So, well, you either do this or you don't. Exactly, you know? exactly. Get to the program or, or shut the fuck up, essentially. Yeah, you know, it's like it, it pretty much. Yeah, and that's what yeah. I finally told Elise the other day too. It's like, yeah, yeah, you know, nobody's coming to save you. You're gonna have to do this yourself. Yeah, you know, you're yeah. Talking about how you burned everybody out and, um, yeah. you know, you're just pushing everyone away, and it's like, well, maybe that's what you want. Hey, exactly. Maybe that's what you want. Maybe you just want to <laughs> be miserable, and if that's the case, more power to you. But I'm not gonna be miserable with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, and also, you know, uh, if, if maybe you want to get rid of everybody in your life because you want a fresh start. Well, and I tried telling her that too. Yeah, yeah. It's it, possible. Course, it's, it's, possible. Well, it's it's right now she's in that mode of anything anybody says, she's going to have a counter excuse, which oh, yeah. I already, oh, yeah. so did her dad oh, yeah. and everybody else that she just has no interest in helping herself she wants somebody yeah. else to do it yeah. for her she has yeah. even admitted that yeah but what yeah. it comes down yeah. to also is daddy told her um i'm sorry you quit your job i can't support you 
<laughs> all good. All good. Yeah. yeah. You flat out quit her job. Just quit. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. I, I yeah. you know, I, I would have loved to have had her job because but, she worked from yeah, home. Yeah. 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 You know, uh, when people get to burnout, uh, they get irrational like this. It's a very serious yep. thing. Uh, they uh -huh. just You get to that point where you just don't want to do anything. Everything yep. is a big hassle and effort and it's yeah. just miserable. So well, I understand. Uh, yeah, exactly. The problem is that, uh, you know, uh, there, there's no real remedy for it. I wonder if there's such a thing as burnout insurance. And that'd be pretty interesting. <laughs> you know, be, uh, be. because because that's, this is actually what's needed. You you really need an extended vocation. Vacation, you know, like you just need to take off, do nothing for whatever, three months, six months, you know. Uh, yep, but that's hard. That. That's hard. That's hard. She did that. And daddy supported her during that time financially. Oh. Oh. Paid her rent, paid her car payments, paid all her bills. She oh, oh, she's already done that, and now, now it's yep. the time is yep. up, and yeah, I, I see. Yep. Okay, okay. Well, yep. yeah, you know, if you've already had it, then, then you got to, you got to use that time. You know, you can't, uh, you can't be doing it forever. Yeah, nope. Took it as a free ride, and then she started yeah. throwing a fit when, when the money went away, and she's like, yeah. and because literally, so she's like, I don't. Want, she goes, No, I don't want to do this. It's just too much effort. You know, I don't yeah. want to go to work. I, I don't want to pay my bills. I don't want to hassle with finding resources for medical insurance. And I said, I yeah. understand all that, but it's yeah. either do or die time. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Until we get universal basic income, you're stuck. Yeah. 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 Said, if you can go to the store and buy yourself a cup of coffee, you could definitely go drive to a counselor's office. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, we're going to we're going to touch on this going through the story because our society is so geared to forcing you to be productive in a normal sense that it doesn't yeah. make any scope uh, and space for people to be other than a worker bee yes right, and right. that's what she's being forced to be a worker bee and this is going against every grain in her and you can't just say well all right, maybe you're just being lazy, but I don't think it's that, you know, because when you get to that level of irrationality, this is just laziness. There's a, there's a deepness to this, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, so this is, you know, when you start looking at universal basic income, uh, now you have this uh, environment in which people can be themselves, uh, explore their things that don't have these pressures, and you don't get the, you don't get situations like Elise. It's quite a big deal. Anyway, we, we go off the topic a bit. All right. So uh, yeah. oh, that's what I wanted to share to you. It's it's at the top, um, either on my timeline or at the top of group. But I'm going to just put it in in chat for you. Okay. Um, so I do this after all of the slides, but I can give this to you ahead of time. Um, this should be on the main link that you have the if it's still up you know I, I believe i put all these on on the on the uh, on the platform okay uh, I'll so have to... yeah but anyway it's there um, okay. and if you want right, to if you want to go ahead i'll just can give it to you individually each one you know so uh, all right Hold on, a problem. i'm going to write my notes here Link on. Yeah. So yeah. I was thinking about this. I, 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 uh, um, uh, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm actually very keen to do all of those tasks and exercises with you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's what I had thought about when we were going through it. Um, you know, I that question yeah. that I had mentioned, you know, about what are the implications of chaos in my life? That one, you know, somebody wants still wants control and take charge, which tells me. It does tell me, though, that, you know, he's still making that choice. Of, oh. You know, so that's so I'm going to have to keep working through his beliefs, which is good. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, um, the, the, I really, um, I kind of had to smile at myself about my idea of utopia because still I've never even thought about it. I've never thought about what the perfect world would be for me. 
I yeah. never have. I've always yeah. taken it for yeah. granted that here, here it is. Here's yeah. a bad, not a bad belief, but it's a belief that I can shift. Um, yeah. That the world is the way it is. I'm never going to change it. So why bother wishing for different? I know. Don't fall yeah. out of your chair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, this is very important. Sorry, let me just take care of a link here real quickly uh, for okay. somebody um, because they, they're struggling to watch the thing and they say every time they watch, then they just, it like goes back uh, to restart some anyway. But uh, when oh, you technologically, uh, yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, 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 okay, no, I need to concentrate on Zoom. I'll get back to you later, person. <laughs> That's what I'm telling them there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know, when you when you don't want to make the effort to learn the technology, you just struggle. It's it, yes, yeah. I know it sucks, but it's really worth it. You know, you you've got to make that uh -huh. effort. It's important. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um. So so I, I I am keen. So if you would oh uh, all right. Uh, I was hoping, you see, this is where we needed your computer now. Yeah, that's very important. Uh, uh, can you, yeah. can you, can you open that link I that I sent you? If I do it on my phone, it's going to freeze Zoom. Oh, 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 I see. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, For some reason, the replacement that they gave me, um, it's yeah. just, no, it's no, just you got to press them to say, listen, I don't care what your policy is. If this thing is under warranty, it's not working. End of story. I mean, do you want to have yeah. a court case now? I mean, I, I got legal aid guys that have been helping me with stuff and they'll be very happy to take this case on. So, uh, you know, it's like, th this is a cut and dry thing. Yes. Like what, what, what do you want to, to say more? It yeah. Is. Come on. Yeah. There's just no, yeah. there's no other option here. Right. Uh, so you just got to sometimes be a, a precipitate, but before we get into okay. this, cause I was really thinking that this is very important for us to do this together. Right. And this is what I had in mind yeah. for us to do during the week is to actually do these, right. uh, the tasks and exercises, because this is a very big deal. You know, uh, it changes the whole program yes, when is. you do this, right? It's a massive deal. Yes, All right. it does. So, um, so yeah, uh, but, but before we get started that on question. this, let me, let me, I, I want to just, uh, in terms of CJ, and, and you said, what is it that I am doing? Um, mm -hmm. uh, I, you that that look at competition and competitiveness um, and how That's it there. comes yes. and how it comes through subtly and inadvertently. It is such a powerful paradigm that we don't even realize that we do so. And this is what's happened with you and CJ is that you've gotten into a competition. Now, I don't think you're necessarily pushing that out anymore, but this this is a longer thing. You know, it started before uh, already, you know, before. I, mm -hmm. So it's now, now it's there, it's instituted and implemented, right? So now yeah. you have to specifically say, look, you know, we're in this competition and it's become a battle. And for what? And who wins a war? Yeah, nobody. Exactly. There is no such thing. This is an idea. Oh, but they won the war. Rubbish. You know, their guys died. They lost a, a property and, and, you know, I had to spend lots of money, etc., etc. There's no mm -hmm. such thing as winning a war. This just doesn't happen, right? So now that's the problem with the logic is that you believe that you can win a war. It's complete foolishness, complete and utter rubbish, right? Point any war in history and say, where did people win without any cost? It doesn't happen, right? Okay. <laughs> so, so now I'm saying, you know, that you can say to CJ that this is, you know, for whatever reason, you guys have gotten into a battle. Now, you might not be, be uh, uh, competing anymore or fighting, but that doesn't help in a war. If one side decides to stop fighting, the other side just sees this as opportunity to pile on more crap, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so it's a mess. So you need to, to have both sides say, let's cooperate rather than fight. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. So this is what a different different way of doing it. But that's part of that that list. So before we go into these questions, what do you have on those on the list of what's important? Um, well, okay, on the on the old uh, conventional beliefs, I've got dominance and control, and then competition, and I I don't really have anything else right now, because um, I'm I'm not quite sure whose beliefs I'm writing, mine or his. Uh, uh, well, uh, both, both. Uh, okay. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, the, I, the, the objective here is just to simply have, um, uh, when, you, when you do the exercise with him, then you can put yours, um, okay. you know, and he can put his. But uh, the, 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 our, our, our intent here is to have some clarity as to what can go on all four lists, right? Because you've got to each yes you got the the, right, the, right. the not so good or the the unwanted the legacy the crapola and then you've got the mourners right so right uh so this is this is what we're doing now is simply for you to have the preparation so that when the time comes you're not sitting there with your mouth full of teeth like um, um you know, right you, you have something to go by and you can hold right. off on you can start a few to get him started and then kind of okay i'm thinking and uh, wait and you know, keep an eye in there. Okay, he's got a few. All right, then you add it because you don't want to give it to him. You, you want him to figure it out for himself, right? But you 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 do right. need to provide an occasional bit of stimulus here uh, to get the brain going, right? So you need that initial start because then the brain thinks about oh yeah, and more and now, now the neurons fire and all that stuff, right? So this is very key. Right. This is very key. So that's what we're doing right now. So so on your negative list, uh, what do you have there? Just think, just think, BMN Crapola. What what do they believe? All right, take JD or whoever, whichever BMN you want to see. Dominance, hierarchy, superiority, always being right, never being wrong. Um, I, uh, you know, unable to 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 benefit from mistakes. Yeah, okay, instead of saying. Right. Now you, it's a negative, they, and I, but but you can put on your positive list. Wow. You know, mistakes being magical. What do you mean mistakes can be magical? Yeah. See, if you if you unhook from the ego crap, and there you go. Ego crap, right? Just keep going. <laughs> Just keep going. Just keep going. Okay. See, well, once you get started um, in the brain, all fires up. You see how my brain was getting all fired up there. Yeah. Well, yeah, and with me, I, I I've I've walked yeah. so far away from that type of person and behavior that exactly. it's hard for me to come exactly. up with those words now. E exactly, uh, exactly. You know, uh, it, I've got manipulative on here, and there you go, you know, was, there you go, attention seeking. Biggest ones that I see. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Oh, and oh, I've, re man. I've made myself get into such a habit of seeing the best in things yeah. that a lot of times the things that do go unnoticed are the ones that are sticking and making a mess of things. Um, so there's a big implication there. You know, yeah. I, I just don't know what it is. Uh, it, say say, say the first me. part again. Uh, that, I didn't quite that understand. I'm, that I'm um, in such a habit of seeing the positive uh, and the right. good in things. Yeah, and in yeah. people that yeah. I tend to ignore, yes. yeah, the the negatives, the the not so good things, um, instead of paying attention to both. Wonderful, you know? wonderful. Okay, so 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 make a third list, please, and this is an application list, right? Okay. Uh, and the logic here is that uh, that this is a reminder to say, hmm. Um, yes, I've shifted from one to the other, but uh, that doesn't mean that I'm applying as ideally as I would like to, right? So this is okay. what sort of a reminder list of things to apply. And the first thing that comes up on that list for me is appropriate de-emphasis. Yeah, okay. You covered that word yesterday, de-emphasis. Yes. Logic, logic, logic emphasis is what you wrote. Right, but this is different. Power? Right, okay. right, right. But I, I want to say that when it comes to to perceiving the negative, we need to know how to appropriately de-emphasize, not ignore or not see. Okay. Do not not see. That's how I should say it. Right, uh, because if you if you don't see negativity, 
right? Uh, it's going to smack you. Uh, yes. Right. As you know, yeah. right? So this is absolutely critical yes. yeah. that we do see it, know it, and recognize it. But of course, also then uh, uh, maintain an awareness of it. Now, this is the problem. If you maintain an awareness of that negativity, you feed it, yeah? Yes. Right. I mean, if, if, if somebody's so coming and they want to be nasty and aggro toward you, um, and you, you, you know, you see this, this is their, 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 their pleasure, their joy, their payoff is you seeing it and noticing it and being aware of it uh, because this is what they want you to do, to see and feel, right? So now yes. you can't, so that's what I mean oh. by de-emphasis, see? Projection. To de-emphasize, correct, correct. But to de-emphasize is not to ignore or to be unaware. It's not the same thing. And this is a very, very key distinction because we tend to think that uh, if, we, if we just ignore, uh, then uh, this is this is the this is the, the the point of positivity, right? It's to to just only be positive, pay no attention to the negative. No, it's not about ignoring; it's about de-emphasizing. There's a massive, massive, massive difference between the two, and I think this is okay. a little bit what's getting you into trouble, right? Like you say, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I've taken yeah. well, I, what where I started from was all negative thinking. And exactly. in this effort to change exactly. my thoughts, yes, I reframed thoughts, and that's coming along nicely because I'm starting to catch words, you know, the exactly. language part. Exactly. Now I have to take the next step exactly. and apply this, this de-emphasis. Exactly. Okay. The ability to maintain an awareness of, of the crap, the negativity, without it's being apparent and obvious that you are doing so. Okay. Right. So, so let me give you an example, right? When I was hitchhiking as a, as a, as a, as a boy, right? I think it was about 12 at the time. And we're going over the, you know, between from the city to the country town and you go over the, the mountain pass. And uh, anyway, so uh, I'm in the car with, you know, obviously a pedophile um, and, 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 you know, we're driving along and they're chatting, you know, everything's fine and normal. And, you know, it's um, all of a sudden he just, you know, takes his dick out and starts playing with himself, right? Now, at that point, what do I do? I'm in a car, we're going over the mountain pass, you know, it's a, just a two lane, it's not a big highway. So, you know, uh, so there's not much I can do. But what I did do was completely de emphasize it, right? So I don't notice this. I carry on like absolutely I have not seen this. I've not noticed it. I'm completely unaware of it. Yes. <laughs> because I know, uh, I, I knew then the moment that I notice it, now it becomes uh, up for conversation. Yeah. But, yep, yep. but I know also that he can't bring it up if I don't notice it. He can't say, oh, look at my dick because now you've been a dick to do this. You see what I mean? So, uh -huh. so he, he, he carries on playing with himself and I, whatever he might have said or not said, I'm just oblivious to it. And eventually the guy uh, says, he pulls over and he says, oh, you know, I, I just have to go relieve myself. Uh, do you mind? Sure, no problem with me. Why are you asking me? You know, but I took it. My response was, I knew what he meant, right? Uh, but, but I just took it, oh, like you're going to go and pee or something, like. What are you asking yeah. me for? You know, uh, but 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 I could see his frustration. That he could see like, fuck this this kid is so bloody thick and stupid. You know how oblivious can you be to not see this? That that was what was going through him, right? He was completely like, what the fuck? Can you really be this stupid? Can you really be this oblivious? And that was exactly what I was going for. That <laughs> that was my whole my whole strategy. Yeah, I, Right. I was just saying, I don't know why, but I keep thinking Skeletor with the, you know, that's that's something Skeletor would have done. Your move oh, is something oh, interesting. Done. interesting, interesting. Anyway, <laughs> I, I love this. Right. So, so, so now, the, you know, he, he just ended up, he went to relieve himself. He came back and, you know, Dick was in his pants and we drove on and I didn't even have to get another ride. Right. Uh, so, right. <laughs> which, which I could have, I could have said, ah, you know, let me out. But I knew that he was going to be okay there. 
And I don't want to stand hitchhiking in the middle of the mountain there because, yes, it's a pull-off, but it is not a good place to be hitchhiking on, right? Mm -hmm. It's just a little gravel pull-off, you know? So it's not, not, people don't yeah. want to be stopping there. Anyway, my, my point was that I knew exactly what the fuck he was about. But the moment uh -huh. I let him know that I know, then, then it's a new game begins. Yeah. Now uh -huh. you've got to deal with that. Right. Now, this, the same applies when, when, when guys are trying to put the moves on you. If you're oblivious, they can't do it and it, it goes nowhere. Right. Like, like the guy who did it with Bina. Oh, he must, must get Bina to tell you the story. A friend of us took her to this nightclub and basically just abandoned her there near the door. And she's just sitting there. <laughs> and of course, Mr. Smooth, you know, looking to just get laid, comes up and, and tries to get her a trauma. And uh, it's just the most fantastic story of oblivious innocence and ignorance that you can imagine, right? I mean, she's saying the things that he says with just no idea. At least then, when she first told me the story, just no idea what he's saying and what he's meaning, what he's implying. And of course, he goes away completely and utterly frustrated. Like, I think he even said to her, but, you know, like, well, what are you doing here then? Like why are you here? Like I, he couldn't, he couldn't. His brain was blown. It was too funny. So, but this is what I'm, I'm trying to point out. When we are oblivious to people's bullshit, it doesn't work, and it cannot work. But the moment you be, see, they see you are aware, then it can work, and they can start to work it and apply it. So the key here is to be aware, but not be aware both at the same time. Yes. Right. Okay. And that is right. the emphasis. That is okay. the emphasis. I put it in the basement. I know it's there, but I'm not opening those boxes. Okay. Right? I, I know what's in there. I, I know I can open it. And I know when I open it, I know exactly what I'm going to find. Like with the, with the, with the pedophile guy or with this guy, Charming Bina, right? Or trying to. You know, you are familiar with this, right? So for us, we, we were at least aware enough to know what, what what is if you open the box what's in there now being a, had no clue right i mean so she would have gotten a rude education and would have been horrified and i think the guy would have probably run a mile then too but uh, either way my point is that if we can de-emphasize to the extent that we're oblivious at least in appearance then the thing that we are de-emphasizing cannot live it's like you're denying right. it light and water right you you you, you just completely right. Uh, prevented from living and this is a very 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 powerful 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 technique i i cannot emphasize enough how powerful this is and uh now of course you know in that too like when when i was 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 uh, is talking to the guy there i'm jabbering away 10 to the dozen there you know all my stuff what i'm chatting about you know luckily i had the skill and ability, you know, to be able to just talk forever on whatever. And, and but this is important that I had a counterbalance to it, you know, rather than just sitting there with my mouth full of teeth and then opening the door for him to, to start, you know, hinting and implying and all of this. So I just didn't give him any space to do that. <laughs> right. So the, right. the reverse part of it too is, you know, when you look at that, that, the positivity it's it also when you do that uh, and you de-emphasizing the emphasizing the negative and it has no space to live um by you uh, pushing your thing you also creating a, a a reverse environment where it cannot thrive right it just can't happen so a lot of lot of right. strategy involved here and 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 and, and the, the key point is like you said you know you were so on the on the, the the positive, but this somewhat prevents, um, you know that that or at least if you're only on the positive, and somebody else is focused in on the negative, um, you, they 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 can be doing their thing and and you know you're just in a different world to them, and now you get these two two worlds operating at cross purposes. Yeah. 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 No, I get that. I get that. Yeah. So, okay. so to be ignorant um, is not the same as to de-emphasize. This is what I want to say. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. No, yeah. I get it's that. a powerful thing. It's a very powerful thing. A very powerful thing. Okay. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, um, yeah. So, so awareness without giving it, uh, giving it strength. You know, giving it uh -huh. life. Yeah. 
Yep, I got that down. Yeah, I love um, it. I love it. All right. Okay, so that's on the application list. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the only thing I had for the application list, really. Yeah, um, and right. also, so, well, there'll be other yeah. things that I come up with. Exactly. Well, I mean, I just it just popped into my mind. And I thought, well, let's start the list. I mean, I only have the one thing so far, uh -huh. but but another thing that maybe uh, that can go onto that list is um uh, uh oh gosh, it went went in and out of my mind there really fast. Uh, oh oh oh, uh, uh, paying attention to inadvertent competitiveness, right? Now okay, I've got that on that. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Well, I have the I have the competition um, on the uh, old conventional, the BMS and beliefs. Right, side. right, right. So, but I mean, as an okay. action for you to say, oh, okay. where might I be be inadvertently uh, um, um, triggering competitiveness, where I don't mean to, uh, but but uh -huh. I am. Right, okay. uh, like like for instance, if you say, ah, "Come on, don't be an idiot," you know, or like oh, nah, that's okay. not a good example. Like, uh, well, I, I think when when it was with that TV thing, right? When when they when him and his friend wanted to make that TV thing, yeah, and okay. and you said, "Ah, oh, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work." That right? Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Right when he said, and and you you and now that that is what I mean by inadvertent competitiveness, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Because because uh, you saying it won't work, and he saying it will work. Right, right there, you've started a competition. Yeah. Okay. You, you see what I mean? You don't mean to, but this is my point. I I, I really uh, I'm saying to pay attention to inadvertent competitiveness, right? Where it's completely uh -huh. unintentional, but it happens, and, and and this is this is potentially problematic. So this is a big deal to pay attention to, a very big deal. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Because in in in, in, in for I'm you, really of course. Is... Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm saying for you, this is okay. like. Well, you know, it's a it's a complete nothing in your mind, right? Your your comment is utterly innocuous, yes, but but not for CJ. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah? Okay. For him, you saying, "Oh, it won't work." If you in that competitive paradigm, man, you might as well be throwing the red flag at the bull. Okay. Right. Make sense. Yeah. Yeah, but I also want to make sure, though, that I, I'm trying to figure out how to do that, that there has to be a boundary there. There has to be an understood that, I'm sorry, this is not, um, you know, we can collaborate, we can cooperate, but there's not going to be a control. Oh, oh, absolutely. Um, oh, oh, collaboration doesn't mean that you're no longer in charge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, um, so you and, can collaborate and still be in charge. So now the other thing to pay attention to is leadership, because okay. rather than being in charge in the typical sense, which is being the boss, and you know, it's that's it, which occasionally is necessary uh, with him, but uh -huh. uh, you know, the subtle art of leadership. Uh, which is to, you know, you, you, you say, hey, I, you know, uh, many ways to do things. You basically just have energy and enthusiasm and you, you just, you initiate and then people just follow, right? Uh, leadership yeah. is very illogical. Uh, many people it, don't it, realize yeah. that. There's no logic whatsoever to leadership. And once we get this understood, then everything starts to change, right? So, uh, uh, yeah. and, and also that, for the most part, people follow because somebody's leading. Yeah, that's it. Well, I no mean, other reason. Wait, when you, but if, but when you know, it, bringing up leadership in the story, I've always had this sense that Biella was like the entire, like she was the, in a sense, leader. That's the image that Correct. I get. Correct. You know, she's the Correct. one that they follow. Correct. Okay. Correct. But but you'll see with the way she does it, it is simply that she is um, uh, she's taking it on herself. Well, she she gets a mandate from uh, from the the whoever was admin at the time because the 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 delegates come to the world and somebody needs to show them around. 
and show oh, okay. them what it means to be. So she has a mandate. Otherwise, she wouldn't be doing that, right? It's like then oh, okay. they would just be doing it. So because of this, and but in in her fulfilling her mandate, she of course does it very thoroughly, right? And in okay. her group also, yes, she is a bit of a leader in that group because, well, she's older for one, uh, considerably than the average aspirant because she came very late to Nobilia. So, you know, that okay. hit her part. And, you know, she was already essentially a new noble, even though she's not technically one. And it comes in the story. You know, her mom says, she says, yeah, but you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm actually not a noble. He says, yes, but you are. She says, thank you, but no, technically. And then she has to go to the office and actually sign up, right? So uh, many, many nuances to it. But, but uh, mainly, though, the key in this leadership, it comes simply because you take it upon yourself to share things that are like, oh, wow, I never thought of that. Oh, oh wow, this is a cool thing to, to, to maybe do or explore. You're just bringing up new yeah. ideas. Yeah? And, and that's all there is to it sometimes, right? I'm not saying follow me. Yeah. I'm just saying, hey, I, I, I'm going to be doing this. Anybody want to join me? Well, mm -hmm. if it's a cool idea and a good idea, I'm not really doing anything. Oh, all right. Okay, whatever. You see, I mean, that's that's typically how leadership is. It's just initiative. It's amazing. Okay. It's just flat out pure initiative. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. yeah. Just it somebody is, taking yeah. the initiative. Yeah. yeah. It's a really peculiar thing. Really peculiar thing. I find it most no, fascinating how that works. Uh, but but uh, 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 you know this thing of paying attention to to inadvertent competition though, it's and also to leadership. So we have two things here now uh, to say. Wow, if I'm going to be leading, uh, rather than saying, "Come, uh, you know, you've got to do this," that which is telling what to do, to say, "I'm going to do this. Would you like to join me?" Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm thinking of doing this. You see, now it's a whole different different paradigm that you're doing. Now you've made yeah. it his yeah. choice. Yeah. So uh, uh, you know, leadership is, is 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 very when you when you're doing it deliberately. Uh, you know, a lot of times leadership is sort of a bit undeliberate. It just kind of comes about and happens. But sometimes you yeah. have to consciously and deliberately, like in CJ's case now, you have to consciously and deliberately. Uh, um, say a thing in a different way in order to 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 basically bring that leadership about where it wouldn't right. otherwise be there. So this is kind of now you have to be skillful about it, right? Uh, in in right. other words, to suggest and and um, in a way that isn't isn't a telling, right? Because what's he's so sensitive in the to world, being. Though, what's right? That? I I understand that, but what's going to happen yeah. in, when? Um... You know, when the world meets, when these two entities huh. meet, not me. Oh, yeah. But, oh, you know, yeah. Like CJ oh, yeah. meets the world. What's going to happen? Yeah. Then, you know, there's got to be an ability to, to handle Oh, oh I agree. I agree. I agree. Uh, you know, the, uh, the, the problem with, with, with CJ is now because he's still living in, according to JD logic, that this is now. Uh, uh, it's it's causing him to be distorted. So this opportunity to actually learn nicely is not there because he's made a big thing out of, oh, but I can't be told what to do. And because if I get told what to do, yeah. then, you know, uh, uh, all the bullshit that goes with that, right? So th this is this yeah. is a severe limitation. So, so you now have to be working not from, he's not coming at this from a normal perspective. He's coming from a distorted perspective and you have to undo the distortion before you can get to normality. To say, you know, when you don't have an ego issue about people telling you what to do, well, you're the boss, okay, so what? And and you just do. And it's a non-issue, right? But for him, it's still an issue. So you have to first undo the things that make it an issue before it can become a non-issue. Yeah? Right, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, it's, there's no way right. that he's going to take it as a non-issue when he still thinks it's important to never take orders from anybody. But that's yes. only you only because you think taking orders is a negative. When you don't have an ego, you don't care. I mean, you signed up for the job, you take responsibility for your decision to sign up for it. And then of course, part of the job is taking orders. Somebody got to give the right. orders. If you don't have an ego, it's not an issue. So. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Good. Okay. I get that. Yeah. Uh, that. And the other thing to apply on your list is to pay attention to absolutes. Okay. 
Oh, yeah. it's kind of funny. I put that on my beliefs list too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Because um, you know, I was making a case here for an exception, really. You know, paying attention to uh, to to like to leadership, right? And 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 and, and in the way that that you sort of suggest things and giving orders. Um, and you know, a little bit of absolute peek through there to say, yes, but if I do this, you'll never learn. Uh, it, it, it's it's not an absolute. You're going to do it as an exception, right? And and realize that it is an exception. And then then your life becomes a lot simpler, you know, when you when you know this is the exception. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. 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 It's not an absolute. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you 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 you're dealing with an exception in the first place. All of those JD logic nonsenses are exceptions, mm. yes. And, uh, yeah. and so you you you're looking to 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 remedy an exception in the first place. Very big deal. Okay. Very big deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Putting yeah. that under yeah, but you know, um what you have that you really I want to I want to uh, uh, bigger picture zoom out. Ah, there's another there's another application here, very important with CJ. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Yeah. Yeah. Constantly look at the overview, because if you're going to be looking at the details, you're going to get depressed. The day to day. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because day to day, yeah. it's like it's like if you're watching your plants grow day to day, right? Well, unless you've got really fast uh -huh. growing crops. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit depressing. So I, I don't see any difference. I don't see any difference. Yeah. Well, uh, right. right. It's like watching a clock that doesn't have a second hand. Right. You don't see uh -huh. time move, but of course, when you zoom out, then you do. Yeah. So this is it. There is major, major, major significant progress with CJ. Well, there yeah? has been, yes. Right. Well, well, <laughs> yeah. well, the reason I say this is from my outside point of view, one thing that you've been working very hard at constantly, consistently, and that we've emphasized over and over as an important thing is to get him to think about things, to get him to hear you, to get yeah. him to be receptive to input. What happened last night? Mm -hmm. Exactly mm -hmm. that. Yeah, right? there was, it was, yeah, there was receptivity. Right. right, exactly. It's the start. And this uh -huh. is an incredible accomplishment. Yes. But I also did not emphasize it, by the way. Yes. I didn't make yes. a big deal of it. Kind of like yeah. your car situation. I, yeah. I didn't emphasize yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I Wonderful. just Wonderful. made it matter of fact and part of the conversation. So, yes. Um, and, it, and it just seemed to um, appease and to ease off and it just worked. So. Exactly. Thought, well, okay, exactly. There's exactly. Uh, <laughs> right. So, so another thing with praise. Uh, maybe that's another thing for the list here, right? Uh, that we have to be judicious with praise. Yes, I can't go so. and praise you for you know, like okay, you you uh, you you come on Zoom and I say, wow, well done. Uh, um, 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 uh, sure, you know, you 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 came on Zoom and you you click join audio and and you're like, what the fuck, you know, isn't that just like the yeah. it's like a but for others that I know, this is a major accomplishment, yes? And, and they find it very difficult and it's traumatic and stressful. It's like, holy crap, you know? But my point is, if you're going to go around praising and emphasizing what is a duh, what is a taken for granted thing, now uh -huh. you have an artificial uh, environment in for your praise, right? And you are yeah. emphasizing something to say it's a big deal, it's difficult when it actually isn't. Yes? Right, right. So we have to be very, yeah, very careful much, of very how much, we though. give praise. And uh, uh, praise is like respect. It must only be given when it is due. Yes? yes. Genuinely due. Yeah. Yes? So when you're doing a normal good thing, you don't get praise for that. That's just normal goodness. I can appreciate right. it, but praise is a different thing. Yes? Uh -huh. Right? Absolutely, it is. So I can appreciate your day-to-day -day goodening. You know, it's like, okay, you come on and you say hello and you say hi. This is a normal, simple thing to say good morning in a wonderful way. Yeah? And I can appreciate that. Yeah, I, I, my, my, my return greeting. But it's not something to praise you for. Yeah. yeah. 
yeah it's a different deal different deal so it's i find this with parents who who have got this positive mindset no negativity no hidings whatever they praise their kids for absolutely every crap and nonsense and there's this one girl who said i think she sued her mother or something right or, or wanted to but she said you know that when i finally woke up i was 26 years old or something and i i said fuck mother, you really screwed me. You know why? Because you made me think that I was so accomplished and wonderful. And now I realize that actually I can't do anything. You just kept giving me praise for all these idiotic, stupid things, which absolutely mean bugger all. And yeah, I'm a 26 and I'm totally incompetent. And yet I was under this impression that I could rule the world. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, and she was just absolutely devastated to realize that, like, she knows nothing. She's just literally, like, incompetent crap. But she was under this illusion that her mother was praising her for every little thing, right? You're wonderful. You're fantastic. Oh. You're blah, blah. She really thought she was, she was in this big bubble. And then, you know, reality struck. And so, well, so you have to be very careful with praise, right? To not have it yeah. be artificial. And, and, and then you have an expectation also. If I praise you for being good, right and reward you for being mm -hmm. good now you're doing it for the reward not because of good for itself there's something you're going to do of its own accord you know what i mean there's no reward yeah. no praise for it so you have to be very right. careful with associations and implications involved we have to be very yeah. judicious when it comes to praise and criticism both together yeah but particularly so praise go ahead i'm thinking about okay these two lists and I go back to that question, I can almost see the the where the chaos comes from. Yeah. Um yeah. or how it's how it's so easily cued. Yeah. Um yeah. we're still entirely we it's yeah. I'll be honest, yeah. it can be overwhelming yeah. trying to pay attention to all of yeah. this at once. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. I also don't want to get sucked into the whole mindset of, oh well, then I must be sucking as a parent, you know, because I'm not getting yeah. it yet. Yeah, that's not true. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> otherwise so, we'd still be having World War II here. Yeah, exactly. So with CJ, to me, uh, the strategy with him, I mean, beside being tight and disciplined and being impeccable and, and exquisite and all that, but specifically with him is inadvertency. Right? You can't come at yeah. anything directly with him. It has to be inadvertent. So if it was me there now, right, if I was in your shoes, because this is how I have to think in order to really come up to it, right? So I put myself in sure shoes. I would take, if you're looking at screen, right, I would take okay, this, yeah. this, this year and say, uh, pull it up on the phone or uh, when you get the computer going and say, hey, CJ, check this out. Check this out. Uh, uh, I've got to do these, but man, you know, and uh, you don't, you don't say I'm having a problem. You just like, scratch your head right and it's like man uh, this is this is this is you don't you don't say it you just you're implying that you know you you don't have a ready answer for it say yeah come on come come sit help me with this okay. yeah now i say like okay that. what aspirations above and beyond the normal might you have well might i have right so what are my aspirations uh -huh. what does aspirations mean now you're thinking out loud right what are you doing in the thinking out loud and going through aspirations, what the hell is an aspiration? Oh, compared to an ambition. Ah, okay. Now you explain it to yourself, right? Because you're thinking out loud. But of course, you're giving him a lecture. But it's not a lecture. See? Okay. Okay. And then, then of course, now, because you can't ask him, well, what do you think? Because he always, oh, I don't know. Right? He doesn't want to commit because he puts him on a, on a it, it makes him vulnerable when he says something. Right? Because he's then it's, it's subject to criticism yes. and blah, and blah. Right? So, so uh -huh. then now as you go along, he will chirp in when something pops up because, boy, he loves to be able to give a solution and that, right? So now yep. when you start to, and when he starts to click what it's about, and then he's, okay, let me try. Now I can be clever here, right? And that, that motivation to be the clever one com comes in. Then he'll start feeding you stuff, but you've gotten him thinking. You've gotten him listening, you see? So, but it's inadvertent. If you ask him directly, it, it, nothing happens, right? If you ask his opinion, so, but, but by you just like, all right, come, come help me with this. But he's not actually doing anything. He's just sitting there and the help is him just being a, an, a foil for you talking out loud. Right. Um, and, and you'll get that. You'll click Columbo. to it. Right. Right. Exactly. Columbo. This is, yes. this is Columbo. Absolutely. Okay. 
Absolutely. Inadvertency. Colombo was a master of inadvertency. Absolute yeah. master of yeah. inadvertency. Right. So then again, That's you know, funny. what would an ideal circumstance of being be for you? Uh, for me. For me. But, but now you asked mm. him, you see, uh, for you. Oh, what would an ideal circumstance of being? Well, collaboration. Yeah, I don't want to be fighting all the time. I want to collaborate because when you collaborate, you get moreness. When you fight, you reduce what you have. It's like mm -hmm. uh, this is making so collaboration, right? Because that both get more. You know, one plus one equals e equals three or four or five or ten, right? Equals more than two. So this is a potent thing, right? Okay, okay. So how how would I imagine this to be? And so and now you can go on in all the tangents that you need to go off. But and then you start writing mm -hmm. too, right? And he sees you doing this and making an effort. This is copying this is this is inadvertently giving him the example you also by thinking okay. out loud you are inadvertently giving him a, a seminar on how to think how to construct how to figure out how to think things through to the end and you can say uh, wait a second let me perspective shift here i've only looked at it from one or two angles oh 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 what do you mean perspective shift you, you, one or two angles in that perspective oh no uh, you see but you don't say it all right so I, i've only come up with one or two things here i need more uh, i need to really look at it from multiple angles but okay now you do it see but so you you kind of throw that in there and he, he can see what it is and isn't and there's a label for it okay now have i thought this through to the end yeah so always shouts that to the end and you can mm. make a little talk about it or whatever right but again you yeah, point it out through this inadvertent emphasis you're pointing out, thinking it through to the end, right? So ideal circumstance of being. I don't think he means just me in my my home and my... No, I think he means maybe the greater world too. Ah, I think it's yeah, to the yeah, end. Yeah. Not just the world, but your life, your soul, your eternal things. Holy crap. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. Oh, okay, that's really thinking it through yeah. to the end. You see? Inadvertency, inadvertency. It, it's really, really powerful, especially with him. He, he, he thrives on inadvertency because he has that freedom without the pressure of feeling responsible and, and having uh, to, you know, when he's forced to give an answer, then it's right or wrong, I'm going to get in trouble, blah, blah, blah. Right? But when he's free to just jump in and chime in, then he's, he, when he gets us on a roll, he jumps in and he's got 101 different uh, solutions for you. Yeah. Right. So that's inadvertency yeah. almost like through de emphasis. Which is right, really right, I, I, exactly. But but okay. you the, the the technique generally is you talking out loud to yourself and you just yeah. kind of roping him in here because I need it here, yeah. you know. And you can even say that. So, okay, come here, come here. I need it here. And you kind of grab him and yeah. like, okay, you know. So, so you know, because he see, he'll know. And then you you talking out loud, but you kind of talking to yourself. You thinking out loud, and everybody understands okay. thinking out loud to be a technique. Now you are really doing it in yourself, but. Through your thinking out loud, he gets to hear it. And through hearing it, he gets to chime in. Because you've already said, come, I, I need your help here. Now, the help is just to hear you. All right. If you want to chime in and say, I, I didn't mean you to be giving me, I don't write suggestions, but all right, if you're not going to have to, okay. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's like now he's free. He's absolutely free to make suggestions, right? And that's the okay. key for him. Okay. Do not feel pressured right. to do it because it is on the spot there. But also this inadvertency, you're not telling him a thing. You're talking to yourself. You're not telling it to him, right? And that's the magic. Right. So this is a very okay. powerful technique, this talking out loud to yourself, but you need it here. It's like, come, come. Yeah, yeah I, need, I need somebody to run this by, right? And, and you do that. Like you say with me, with the, with, in, 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 you know, you send yeah, me your articles. It's the same thing. Just do it out loud with him. Right. And yeah, you sit there, you thinking. And when he sees you thinking, and, and like, mm, ah, you know, I'm, I'm like, mm, I don't know, what the hell is this now? And he sees you a bit stumped. This is a opening a, a gift for him because, because he is still in that competitive one upping mode and being a solution. He'll want to give you the solution because look how clever I am. It's a big deal for him, right? So, but you, you subtly opening that door for him by sitting there. Uh, you genuinely, you're not like pretending. It's like, what the fuck does this mean now? It's like, okay, I better think about it. And also, you acknowledging your ignorance. When you say, yeah. at least, you know, I don't know what this means, but you know, by implication again, you're showing him just because you start and you read it. I don't know what he means here, but I'll figure it out. Right there, you see? 
He's now yeah. getting a, yeah. something he can copy. Just because you don't know means nothing. So uh, this is always how it is, you know, with these damn questions of so it kind of fries my brain to start. But then when I get into it a little bit, it's like, ah, okay, I get you now. Okay, and then it all starts to come, right? And it's like, that's the point of these questions, I guess. And uh, and there you go. You've got the whole lecture going right there now, but it's not never a lecture. It's a share, it's a share, it's a share always. Mm -hmm. It, it yeah. is so yeah. potent and so powerful. It's really cool. It's really, really awesome, you know. So, yeah. Very powerful really technique. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's fun too. It it's fun, and of course, you get the value out of it because hey, you are doing these tasks and exercises. So I really would uh -huh. recommend um, that, uh, uh, and then on Wednesday, if you can, between now and then, do as many uh -huh. of of these as you can, because there's a whole bunch of them, right? I mean, there's like a, right. I don't know five or six different things. So do as many as you can, and we'll go over them. I, I I'm very okay. keen to do this. This is this is this is super fun because. Not just fun, but power here. Yeah. Because when we get into this, we're going to pull the mourners out of this, the whole story. Right? Yeah. This is what these are. I mean, share some of the nuanced revelations revealed via implication. And this is now it's an exercise. Oh, let me go back and see what the implications of what, uh, you know, and like that with, a, with just, it's very simple in this case. Oh, you know, um, uh, humanity had been involved, had been evolved in isolation. Wow, it means by implication, they might not have been involved in isolation. Maybe other things, you know, other you, you know species evolved in collaboration, but humanity, for whatever reason, was evolved in isolation. Oh, that's an incredible implication there. And had been, they didn't just evolve on their own accord. Something was involved, you know. Wow, holy crap, you know, what is the story trying to say? Of course, this comes later on with the gods taking the hand in things, right? So uh, yeah. it, it's that when we start to look at implications, it, it's like, man, the whole world opens up. It's very powerful to, to train your brain to start looking at implications. I, I, I can't emphasize this enough, right? And kids are very good at implications. Very, very good. Uh, yeah, and this extrapolation, what do you foresee coming? You know, now you, I'm asking you essentially to take the story up until this point and to, to essentially write what you think may come. Right? Not, not what you would write, but what you think I might have written. So it's a double uh, thing. You've got to get inside the mind of the author and you've got to practice extrapolation and why, you know, where is it possibly going? Of course, it's impossible to say, but it's a good exercise. Uh, I, whenever yeah. I read or watch TV, I always keep extrapolating continually to see if I can, and you, can, you get better and better at it. You know, if I watch the average like murder mystery or TV show, because, you know, you know, the paradigms, you know, they're going, you can write the ending before it comes most of the time, <laughs> you know, what's coming, right? right? Right. <laughs> so it's a good skill to have though it's a very very powerful yeah. skill because we need that skill of extrapolation in so many instances yeah it's very powerful very necessary yeah it's a good survival skill let me put it that way yeah yeah okay. very very cool i love it i love it and i'm very keen to go through this stuff with you very 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 keen very keen very keen yeah. i i was very thrilled and this is what this is what got lisa excited she said man you know i was so impressed by what you were sharing in your story, what was there? Yeah, oh. I promise. You. Yeah, I mean, I uh, we had long, you know, every day we we talk uh -huh. on text type for hours at a time. This was five years ago, though, uh, so you know, a lot has happened in five years. You know, I wrote all this. Yeah, uh, yes. you know, I'd written the Biala story before that, but I made way of impeccability in the Mourners Project and all of the stuff, right? So uh, yeah. a lot, a lot of difference, and she was never a participant, so. I'm just sharing stuff and she was totally into the gurus and following this one and that one and she never heard half the things that I said and what really made her sort of stop interacting was she thought I'm trying to sell her on my belief system I could never ever oh. convince her I, I said it so many times over and over I, I whether you believe me or not I don't want you to just believe me I'm not trying to sell you anything her paradigm thinking no. ref Refused to even hear that this is because she'd already just assumed this is what people do because she's so involved yep. with all those gurus and things, right? She could not imagine yep. that somebody could be altruistically simply sharing. Uh, just could not imagine yeah. it. it, and that's a that's a very potent thing, right? And this is something to to really pay attention to on that list: assumptions of motivation. Okay, you can put it on both lists. Right. Yeah. And this is a great limitation. Yeah. If we don't believe somebody can be altruistic, like in the in the superiority paradigm, there's no such thing as altruism. Uh -huh. 
There's no such thing. Um, it does not exist. Yes. So right, they cannot right. actually see it when it comes their way. And I, I've had this. I've had this as a severe personal problem in my life. Hmm. It's not just with Lisa. You know, it, it yeah. became a bit of an issue toward the end. You know, and then she sort of well, they moved to Panama, and, and a lot of things happened. Right. So it wasn't actually feasible for us to do it. Um, but still, you know, it, it was a bit of a problem for her. She kept thinking, I'm trying to sell her. And if you have this yeah. belief that everybody's trying to sell you something because you're trying to sell everybody something, you can't see it when somebody's not, right? They, they, they only yes, have tell. Sir. They don't have share. They only have tell in their world. So, yep. yeah. Yeah. And so you, can put telling, you can put telling on the negative list and sharing on the positive list. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very, very cool. Okay. And also, um, you some... know, um, um, and when you, if you do get him involved with this, just say, hey, man, this is a cool story. Come, come, come. Listen to this a little bit here. See what uh -huh. you think. You know, it's like, I want to, and now you, you're excited to share it with him. Right? Yeah. This is a big compliment to somebody. If you if I want to share something with you, uh, that means that I, I value your input, your your opinion, or your, just you as a right. person that I want to share. I like you. Yeah. I think you're good. And that's why I want to share it with you. That's why we share things with people, uh, because you like them and you want to bring your goodness that you're enjoying to them, right? So uh, simple, right. simple. Inadvertency, inadvertency. You'll see indirect, everything indirect. you got to press from outside the circle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can't press it from inside the circle and you just get resistance. You got to press from outside the circle. Yeah. yeah. Never, never you doing the pressing. You see, like in this case, you know, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's very powerful stuff. Very powerful stuff. I, I would love him to, uh, like now, too, at times like this, if he's hanging around, say, hey, come listen to this, you know, join in here if you want or, you know, whatever, you know, just, man, this is cool. Come here, come here, come listen to this. This is cool. Maybe just listen, man. Like, like yeah. an eavesdropper almost, you know. But you have the mm -hmm. headset on, so you can't always hear, right? Well, it, and it's not just that. It's also, um, I read moods. Wow. Ah, you right. know, <laughs> right. I read the moods. And absolutely. It's one absolutely. of those things I've learned right. how to do. But, but, but I mean, when appropriate, absolutely pull him in yeah. and, you know, take take off the headset, yeah, put it on speaker and pull him in. Oh, okay. 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 Good. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Good. I do. It's not a, it's, you know, I mean, as long as you cue so. me, you know, I mean, I, I'm always happy to talk whatever I say. If he hears me, then I think this will uh -huh. be very useful for him. Even when I'm not being, you know, when I'm being accurate and del delineating negative stuff, uh, that's fine. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm not doing it in a way that's negative. So it's like, oh, well, that's what he thinks about me. This is a very big, great gift to hear what people really think about you. I'm happy to share that. You yeah. know, so whenever I say I'm happy that he hears, I mean, I really realize that you mostly have the headset in, but I always say it as if you don't, right? So if he is, right. he is, that's fine. Right. You know, you might not like it, but it's still a gift for you. Yeah. You know, the awful truth yeah. sometimes. Yeah. So, but yes. uh, yeah, yes. it's fine. I'm, I'm looking forward to going through these with you. So I cannot tell you how much I'm looking forward to it. You know, I, I absolutely, it's a thrill and a joy to do this stuff. I, I, this to me is really, we really start to touch our mourners and we start to realize, holy moly, you know, when I do pay attention to my aspirations, I actually do have them. I may never have named them, but I do have them. And it's about time I do start to activate them and have them be more conscious. And it changes our lives mm -hmm. because you realize I always had them. And that's part of your mourners, you see? Now you realize, wow, yeah. wow, wow, I've always had this. Yeah, it's a big deal. It's a very big deal. It starts to make you feel profound and, and, and makes you feel that sublimeness, that connectivity to your own. You develop a bit of a reverence for yourself when you pay attention to your aspirations. <laughs> mm. It's a profound thing, yes. <laughs> you realize there's a part of me that... That thinks yeah, big, I, that I'm thinks not small. sure if I can do that. <laughs> oh, you can. Oh, you can. I, oh, you I know. Can. Remember the impossible. Yeah. Well, impossible. you said, listen to what you said. You said, I'm not sure I can do it. Well, right. If you're it, not it sure, you can. didn't say, I, uh, you, you, that, that, that just means you don't know for sure that you can do it. But it's you not didn't say, I, I can't do that. Right. Then you would know right. for sure that you couldn't do it. So by saying, right. I don't know then, for sure I can, you're also by implication saying, I don't know for sure that I can't. <laughs> right. right. I also said that I followed it up by yeah, saying, yeah. you know, 
I can remember that, you know, the impossible is possible. Exactly. So, exactly. Exactly. Know. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I, I was just pointing out the implications there, you know, using opportunity because we talked about implications before to say it's amazing when we say that it implies that, well, we kind of think we can a little bit. <laughs> it's not definitive. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. love it. I yeah. love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. okay. whenever I hear you say, I'm not sure, you that's you opening a door. I hear that creaking sound. You know, of you opening a door whenever you say, I'm not sure I can. It's always you opening that door. <laughs> you're <laughs> stepping through tentatively. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, I mean, I, I don't know. There's just yeah. all kinds of different directions to go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, exactly. Exactly. Point. Whenever I you hear know, I, you say that, what I'm actually hearing you say is uh, 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 that that I, I'm, I'm, Oh, I had the I had the term in my mind now, and out went. But basically, I'm hearing you say that that um, I'm I need to figure out how I want to tackle this, how I want to approach this, how I want to jump into yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly yeah. it, right there. There's just yeah. there's um where to that's start. That's always my biggest question. You know, where to start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. That's yeah. always the first question I have in my brain is where to start. Yeah, yeah, um, and the answer is anywhere. Yeah, there is well, and, no such thing as a beginning. We always right. start all stories in the middle. Right. Always. Right. Always. And I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna jump gears here. Um, basically switch topics really quick. Yeah. I sent Matt um the other day when I posted um uh, when I posted that story. Um, let me see on Substack the one about um. Uh, we called it, you know, we bend so they don't break. Yeah, yeah, the red flag one. The one that I had you help me edit. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, the red flag story. That. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I sent them that, and I don't know why I don't I, I don't know why or what, but the response was, I read it. There's a typo. That was the response. Holy shit. There was a typo. Still, the feeling I got from that was exactly what you just said. Holy shit. Yeah. So yeah. I thought, all right, what did I do, number one, to offend? There's that default thinking. Yeah. What did I do to offend? I didn't think the opposite to say, well, what is he jealous of? What is he afraid of? What does exactly he what exactly he and that's a that's a more what accurate question that? what's threatening him that's a Thank better you. question yeah. yeah and so your I article thought, in know, its potency in its moreness in its sophistication in its complexity is threatening him uh, matt has taken on like i told you he's he's getting into the self life coaching now and he's totally unqualified for it if you ask me right he when is. he reads this you now making it very clear he is not nearly as sophisticated as he thinks he is, right? Okay. So, so of yeah. course, him finding a typo, he, he pulls the whole thing down, and now it's like, you know, well, all right, you know. And now he can and feel like, thing. well, it's not so wonderful, yeah? No, I went back and read it, and there is not a typo. If there is, I am just completely blowing it by. That's very interesting, isn't. too. That's very interesting, too. But but yeah. you know uh, this is this is this is him saying you know I, I don't want anything to do with this because it's too much for me. It's as simple as that. Yeah. And he is he's in over his head. He's taking on more than he is actually able to handle. And it's fine to grow into one thing, but you you now trying to step so far and so deep in you just never mind jumping into the deep end where there's still sides of the swimming pool to get to. Uh, you jumping into the ocean where there are no sides, and, and now it's yeah. a mess. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. You just gotta leave him be right now. You know. Oh, I, I asked am. him. I, I asked him for a replay of the Thursday thing because I wanted to go over it and check some things. Yeah. Um. No response. Not whatsoever. Right, and I never None. got. Um. A, At least you got a response. Know. Yeah. We'll see, and it's and it's traditional when um when you do a video recording or a video interview with somebody like the one that I did, it's, yeah. it's traditional and it's respectful to give your guest a copy of that, yeah. you know, interview. I said, all oh, you have always. to do is just upload yeah. it to Zoom 
and then send me the link to the cloud so I can download yeah. it. Um, yeah. I've asked yeah. twice and I got nothing. So I just yeah. like, all right, fine. I yeah. guess or, 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 or upload it to YouTube the way I do and send yeah. the YouTube link. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because um, what I wanted to do from it was take snippets. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah. But that's not possible now because he's not sending it. So right. I thought, but, I don't. I don't want to borrow trouble. I didn't want to stir up anything. No, just stay I away from it. I want to double check yeah. that that statement and how I felt. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, no. I love it like, that you're double checking. It's important. I, I would just say is, right now, uh, just just you know, leave Matt be. We go. We do the show for our own reasons, and for the rest, that's it. You know, we yeah, we there, and we're yeah. going to be show guests for our say. I'll say. And the rest is totally relevant. It, it makes nothing. Okay. Matt is in okay. this, you know, he's basically got worldview collapse that's pressing like my spaceship above here, right? <laughs> yes. It's, it's pressing on him. And also look at that comment by implication. That comment, if somebody, if if he, if you were to read this on the show to say, you know what, I sent this and, and you know, this is what I got back. Well, if you didn't mention him, people will say, oh, that was really rude. Wow. The, Yep. I, I mean, yep. in other words, my point is that he is unaware in making that comment that just how out and inappropriate it is, which means he's in a complete and utter bubble. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. I, I, he, especially Matt, who's very concerned with how he looks to people and how they like him. You know, he's, he's a bit of a people pleaser, right? Well, a lot of a people yes. pleaser. People pleasers don't make so. comments like that. Yes. So this no, is this is him in an absolute bubble. That's why I say the worldview collapse. Those are imminent signs of worldview collapse when people get so disconnected between their behavior. It's an emotional response, right? And, and it's going from that yeah. deep pressure. Um, and there's no logic involved here. This is like the primitive being coming out and saying stuff, right? So this is this is a very serious sign, which means stay away, right? Um, you know, okay. you, because when people are worldview collapse, uh, they want to take you down with them as because like a drowning person, right? You you don't know how to really deal with a drowning person. Both drown, huh? If you if you try and save them, so we have to yes. be very careful. Yes. We have to be okay. very careful. Well, I'm glad so, I brought it up then. Yeah, so, me too. Okay. It's very good. Yeah, I noticed this too. You know, already as from earlier. You know, him withdrawing from wave impeccability and all of this, and and he, yeah. I think he's got he's got people in his ear which are messing with his head and it's a big deal. I think and so he, too. He, you know, he does give, he, anybody who comes and says something in his ear to him, especially if it's a bit of a complaint, he gives them license. The whole thing with asking questions came about when, in the before, the after, you know, where we were just chatting, where Brenda said, wow, oh, you know, these questions, like I, I need them ahead of time because I, I need time to prepare. I can't just answer them on the spot. And I still teased, I said, but Brenda uses this opportunity to develop this ability to think on the fly. Oh, no, 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 she didn't want anything. So he, he then started putting the questions ahead of time. And of course, this made an even more greater mess because then people said, oh, ask the question because I've already prepared the response. And it just became stilted and artificial and, you know, he got rid of it. It, but he listened to one person and in his mind when one person complains everybody's complaining it's not just one it's fascinating somebody complained well brenda was saying directly oh you know because he, he was asking the questions without having it written down beforehand she says oh man you know i, I need these questions beforehand so i can prepare for them oh and like oh. really seriously you can't think on the spot you know and then he started yeah. doing this and then others made the prepared and uh, I, I don't know if you remember in one of the shows somebody said hey you haven't asked this question yet uh will you, you know, the the uh, question number five and and oh, and then the person even said please will you go over question number five because i've got a whole response prepared for it and i don't want to waste it they even said it it's like amazing wow <laughs> yeah yeah now yeah, wow exactly That's and of good. course now you've got a stilted show it's not natural it's not responsive yeah, but my point is that started because of Brenda's complaint that the questions weren't there ahead of time, that he's just asking them on the fly and you have to think immediately on the fly. That's what being a guest on a show is for heaven's sake, you know? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, anyway, uh, I'm just saying his, his susceptibility to pressure and input. And I think this is what's happening a lot in his head. You know, people are telling him this, telling him that, and he doesn't know what the hell to do with himself. So. And of course, you know, doing way of impeccable. He said to me, yeah, but you know what? I, I, I'm actually uh, impeccable already in everything I do. 
I'm like, yeah, really? Yeah. Well, I didn't say that. I said, but you know, it's not about learning how to be impeccable or, or acquiring impeccability. It's learning how to use your impeccability. That's what wave impeccability is right. all about. It's already there in most people. They just got to learn to bring it out. And you, and, oh, 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 I know. And, and this kind of, but it didn't change his mind because in his mind, he'd already made the decision. So, yeah, you know, and again, oh. it was pressing on his ego a little bit. He thinking that I've got to learn. Uh, he, and in his mind, he already knows what it's all what what it's all about. Right? Oh. He doesn't need it. Yeah, yeah. And it's going to bite him, right? That idea. That's why he's now a life coach, right? He's got it figured he out. So, that yeah. scares me. That scares me. That's going to be some dangerous stuff there. Exactly. 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 Very dangerous. So, but uh, we'll see how it goes. You know, maybe he'll he'll stabilize. Maybe he'll he'll you know figure it out uh, because he does have that ability to at least look but critically at his own nonsense you know because he's been in bubbles before major bubbles yeah so let's hope let's hope yeah. let's hope let's hope yeah let's hope but still we're just gonna go do our thing it's a very powerful opportunity for us to practice independence of being and not to be affected by our surroundings this is leadership too yes we go and say right. and look at that look at the thursday's thing right I just said my say, I, I was very, very, I held back. You know, people were talking, I, I had to wait. I had to wait. They kept jumping in. They kept jumping in. I waited, waited, and I said my say. In the end, the summary was all my language summary, right? So yes. you can lead by walking backwards. Very powerful. Yeah. By doing yeah. your thing and having your sincerity, your genuineness, and your depth and coming thing. I, yes, obviously, this person has thought this through to the end. They know their stuff. They, they multiple perspectives shifted. They have sobriety. They're thinking things through. They have the profoundness. They're connecting to more, et cetera, et cetera. People hear that, and they're very impressed. Most of those people are intimidated by us, by the way. Okay. Because we are what they would like to be. Yeah. And they're not, and they know it, right? They but poses are we genuine, we're real, we're not pretending to be anything. I'm, I'm glad to see Brenda come along, and I, I would love to see her yes. take wave impeccability. Exactly, um, exactly. Me too, I me too. I won't press it, this. but yeah, yeah. No, and and, and I, I wouldn't either. I would let her, yeah. she's one of those you're gonna have to let her come on her own. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. she oh, yeah. got into the shamanism because of yeah. Paul. Um, yeah. But yeah. I just feel like it doesn't fit her. She doesn't fully vibe with exactly. it or jive with it. But exactly. It, because she's like, constantly trying to sell it. There's a lot of stuff in there that's yeah. bullshit to her. And she's trying to sell it. Yeah. And when people try to sell stuff, it's because they're trying to convince themselves of something that they're not quite fully on board with. And Paul, right. the same way, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, that, and see, I don't have anything to sell. Yes, I exactly. have my book, but I don't have anything to sell. I don't yeah. want to sell yeah. coach. Right. If people want my help, come to me. This is key. But I don't we want to do sell not myself. have any uh, thing to sell. Now, uh, to, uh, we, we, of course, we're not talking about product here. Yes, buy my book, of course, no. buy my course, yes. But this is not, we don't even push that, right? And when nope. people see, I'm not selling ideas, I'm not selling philosophies, I'm not selling beliefs, I'm not trying to convince no. you, I'm not selling that I'm wonderful, I'm important, Fair I've got it going on. None of that. That's right? all I'm and doing. This I'm is... sharing what works for me. Exactly. Exactly. We're sharing. And this is the power of it. You know, true leaders never sell. Those are bullies, dictators. They're not leaders. Yes. A true leader yes. never sells anything. A true leader shares and people say, oh, that's a good idea. I'll follow you. Because most people don't have good ideas of their own. Yes? Yeah. They just don't yeah. have them. The yeah. That's true. They don't. Yeah. They don't. So really being a leader is thinking on behalf of others. Yeah. That's on behalf one. of, not for them. That's slightly different. That's right? what inadvertent to. Yeah. Exactly. That's that but you know, I'm okay. I'm doing something that well, you could have done on your own, but well, you didn't. For whatever reason. Okay, you were too busy, you were distracted, you didn't make the effort, uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. The right. fact that I okay. did it, well, I just happened to have done it. And there we go. Okay, well. Off we go. So, and, okay. and this whole story sharing is exactly that. It's me doing something that anybody probably could have done if they'd made the effort, taken the time, you know. Mm -hmm. So, just mm -hmm. sharing, sharing. It's very powerful. It's very powerful, sure. But when we realize that we are in actual leadership positions, it does change things because 
uh, now you start to realize that you are uh, taking on a responsibility that you never asked for, but it's being, it's being put on you anyway. So in that group, we are leaders. So, and, and I, okay. I actually dropped the ball a bit on this, but not because I'm really dropping the ball, but because you know I don't want to take that responsibility that I put on myself inadvertently by simply sharing mourners. I make myself a leader, but I don't act like a leader, and it confuses people. And I think I'm, you know, this is something to change. Both of us, we can okay. do this together and be in it. Well, when it when it comes Bina to actually that, does it, you know, yeah. But to that idea of, um, you know, stepping into a leadership role inadvertently. Yeah. Um, okay, my videos on Facebook, I, they never were paid attention to before yeah. as real. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting more followers no they weren't yeah, yeah, and yeah. when i shifted yeah. i don't know exactly what i shifted but something has shifted in my content um to to the better actually to the positive or yeah. in me i don't long story short i'm now getting followers off of every single reel that i post fantastic people are fantastic. viewing it and they're following so my page fantastic. itself is growing. Yeah, 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 <laughs> my page yeah. is nothing fantastic. It's my content. It's my holding place for content. I don't want to start any groups. I don't want to do that. I, I just don't have that energy or that mindset. Um, what I'd rather do is just people read what I have to say. Because I'm really focusing in on recovery yeah. writing. Yeah. Which is, well, I'm, I hope you know what that is. Recovery writing. It's just it's yes, writing about. Yes, absolutely. Know, absolutely. Yes, recovery. yes, yeah. It's very okay. powerful. And that's what I'm focusing on because it feels comfortable. Kind of yeah. like I found, you know, that groove, yeah. how authors, we find that yeah. little niche that we feel best in. And that's what I feel like my lane is right now. It could change in the future. But I thought it was yeah. kind of cool because not only are am I getting followers now off the the reels that I'm making, um, they're they're reaching out to me and asking questions. You know, they're not looking for like you know free facilitation or coaching. What they're doing, they just have a question, and they're like, you know, well, what do you think about this? And so I give my response, and then you know they're staying with the page, um, they're following my other content. Yeah. So yeah. I'm thinking, okay, yeah. I'm building yeah. a following as a writer. Yeah. That's what I wanted. Exactly. So, exactly. so I feel like, okay. Right. Now, if yes, you're getting a following, I, that means you're a leader. In it it's there. See, and that's yeah. what that's where yeah. I was yeah. going with that is it yeah. feels really kind of awesome. Um, now, they're not yeah. massive amounts of views. They're not like what you Doesn't have matter. today. Doesn't matter. But it's, Doesn't matter. It's cool because right. people are responding. They're not just watching it. Yeah. You're actually taking an action on it by following. Wow, that's how it starts. That's how it starts. Uh, sure, yeah. if we don't, if we don't uh, acknowledge that we are inadvertent leaders, we send false or conflicting cueing to people, and then they yes. don't know what to do with us. And I, I get this because I, 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 I keep pushing. I'm not a leader. I'm not a leader, and I really am uh, averse to this. But it's counterproductive. You cannot yes, want is. to share without accepting that, yes, I'm not going to be a leadership in the normal sense, but there is some leadership involved. And then when but you I'm make that switch, it changes topic. everything. Exactly. See, just like you exactly. tell yourself, you're an authority in your topic. Exactly. Exactly. Like exactly. 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 Um, and, I, and I really know think? my shit. That's one thing and I can just, say about me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. And you just answered, yeah. though, what my concern exactly. was. It's like, it didn't matter that whether he found a typo or not, or whether there was one. I don't care if there was, you know, it, 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 I'm not it, perfect, it's, and I don't it's have absolutely ridiculous and preposterous to say there's a typo. So what? That's not, uh, yeah. uh, did I send this to you to, to edit and find typos? The, the, no, it's about the content. Right. Whether there's a typo or not, you and could not say there's that, an afterthought. Maybe, but it's totally inappropriate. It's right. ridiculous. And there was no, um, there was no reference as to what the typo was. Just, you know, precisely. It, it's just, it's just pulling it down. It, there was a typo. It's just pure hierarchy, yeah, comparative stuff, right? If something's too yeah. above you, you, you find a fault, and that pulls it down, and now I'm above it. It's yeah. pure hierarchy response. Pure, pure hierarchy response. Terrible. 
so superiority you know, paradigm like response. you said i'm just gonna leave it alone you know um yeah. Yeah. i will not change the way i behave in Correct. any of those associations exactly um exactly i don't feel like i need to no exactly no exactly no. exactly okay good Good. Exactly. And that's the power of the gift here <laughs> is this that despite despite others being doing their craziness, right? We are going yeah. to maintain our sobriety. And that's key, right? So this is this yes. is number one in the in, in times of chaos when everybody's running around the chickens cut off of their head. Who becomes the leader? The one who doesn't run around panicking. Yeah, the one who's not hollering the sky is falling. Exactly. And now you don't necessarily want to be the leader, but everybody else is, well, you have to be because you, you're not running around with your head cut off. Yeah. See? Now, actually, yeah. in times like that, that's when the BMN step up. In that's times cool. of chaos, oh, that, that's the opportunity for them, right? Because in, in, a, in a time of chaos, people want anybody to be a leader they don't care whether you qualified or not because they don't want to do it and they're panicking and they're stressed so they want anyone so when you step up oh thank you thank you thank you your qualifications are irrelevant it's simply stepping up that counts and they will make that's when they see their big opportunity and that's where they get in you see and now they cause all the trouble so we have to be very careful so if you do find yourself in a situation of chaos where nobody wants to be a leader and somebody does step up look very closely to see this and and that's a case where i will say no i will do this and i'll try and preempt them right and so that they don't do it first because if you come second then it doesn't always work uh, so that they don't do that because when you agree to a bmn as a leader in a situation like that oh you really screwed yourself yeah 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 so, yeah. so you got to be that. careful yeah. Yeah. yeah so sometimes we have to step up okay. preemptively yeah yeah yeah, yeah. all right Wonderful. i'm gonna have to scoot it's time for me to get going um my people are already starting to contact me. What about this appointment? What about that? Okay. Well, I got you. I got you. I, I love it. I love it. And I'm looking forward. We've got lots of things to work on, lots of things to do. do. It's too wonderful. And I actually, I got to run too. I got to take my packages that I shipped to the office. Okay. I love it. Yep. The packages shipped means money coming in. So this is very good. Yes, sir. All yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, absolute pleasure. Right. Such a I'll joy, sure. Such a joy. You know, the mourners, it's such a joy. So, all right. We'll, we'll, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll connect right. again on, on Wednesday and Friday, probably too. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Sounds good. Bye bye. Yes. Yes. Most exciting. Most exciting. Uh, let's stop there.